Hello and welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. So in the last tutorial we have seen how you can convert your manual test case into the robot automation script and we had taken a simple example of the test case for the basic search in ebay.com. So here in my test case I have added another uh, keyword maximize browser window as part of the precondition and what we are doing is here you can see opening browser opening the ebay.com page on the chrome browser and then maximizing so that's sort of prerequisite or precondition then these three steps are your test case and then closing the browser is your post condition now if you see this particular script this is very um, basic and not a good uh, you know like approach to write automation script in this way because the reason for that is we are sort of hard coding each and every details in our script so for example the URL the website that we are testing or the XPath that we are testing the browser that we are passing we are all uh, hard coding these values here so the good approach is something when we uh, externalize or define the variables and define these dynamic values or the changing values as the, as part of the variable so which we'll cover uh, in future tutorials as part of this series now uh, if you want to run this particular test case on a different browser you just need to change the browser name here so for example i want to run it on firefox just change it to firefox or ff um, and it will open and run this particular test case in firefox now the next thing is to understand here is basically to see how this script is interacting with the robot framework library and the external library so here it is the basic search.robot file and there is no structuring as such so we are directly placing this robot file and then we are importing the selenium library and this file is directly interacting with selenium library let's understand this with help of the diagram so let me open the whiteboard and then explain you how this uh, file is interacting with the built-in libraries of robot framework and the external library which is the selenium library so if we let me create the rectangle first so here we have the file so for example basic search dot robot file and then we have the built-in libraries okay and then we have the external libraries okay so here let's say we have um, these are the built-in libraries so we'll just write built built in and these are the external libraries that we import all right so external now in the external libraries you'll have the selenium library the appium library right so selenium library is what we have imported as part of the basic search dot robot and then we have the built-in library which are the operating system or the dialogues or the screenshots so uh, these are the built-in libraries of the robot framework so when we have written some code in basic search dot robot what's happening is it's talking directly to the robot framework built-in libraries and the external library that we have imported so external library that we have imported is the selenium library and built-in library is the library for generating the screenshot or the dialogues or um, any other functionality like date time or string or collections so all these built-in libraries will be utilized as part of the basic search dot robot and because we haven't structured our script in any other format right now we have directly written the script as basic search dot robot and this is interacting directly with the robot framework built-in library and the external library which is the selenium library so if i have open pycharm again you will be very easily able to understand that basic search dot robot 
it is importing external library which is the selenium library and interacting directly with the robot framework when you are executing it and utilizing the selenium library uh, keywords like input text press keys page should contain these are all the keywords from the selenium library so if i open uh, the browser again and we'll go to the selenium library these are the keywords that we were utilizing so if you scroll down in the keyword cloud you will see these are the keywords from the selenium library and then when we execute this particular script the results that are getting generated and all the screenshots that are getting taken and placed in the results are part of the built-in library of the robot framework so this is a brief introduction about the overview of the libraries and the script, how we have structured this script and how this script is directly talking to the built-in library and the external library of the robot framework that we have imported into the robot framework. So that's pretty much about the brief introduction of the, over, uh, the libraries. In the future tutorial, we'll go through a more structured approach of uh, structuring our automation script using page objects and also utilizing the variables and then we'll keep uh, going back through this um, structure and explain you how we are going to structure our automation framework in, in the form of keywords um, dot robot and then page object dot robot and making sure that it is maintainable for the future so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching